Yeah. All right, guys. Our next activity is a game, and this is it's kind of a guessing game. I'm gonna say some words from our book, Raccoon on His Own. So these are all words from our book that we just read. But I'm gonna say these words a funny way. I'm gonna say the first sound in the word, and then I'm gonna pause. And then I'll say the last sound in the word. I'm going to separate them, and I need you to try to put them back together. So let's try our first word. This word is m-ud. M-ud. Does anyone know what word I'm saying, Mercedes? M-ud. M-ud, yep. Those are the two sounds. Let's see if we can push them together. M-ud. M-ud. I see. I heard you say it. Mud. Mud. Like in the book. Remember this covered in mud and the mud was holding the boat in. Okay, let's try another one. B-oat. B-oat. It sounds like oat. Oh, that's the second sound in the word. We've got to put the buh sound on the beginning. B-oat. B-oat. figure this one out? Boat. Boat. You're right, Lynette. It's boat. Like the wooden boat that the raccoon floated away in. Okay, here's our next one. Swoop. Um. This is a tricky word. Snake. Mm. Kind of close. It starts with the s sound, the letter S. But our first sound is swoop. And our second sound is um. Swoop. Um. Swan. Swan. It sounds like swan, but we have a m mm sound instead of an n sound. We just learned this word. Oh, swamp. Swamp. Yeah, it's where the raccoons were with all the water and the mud and the plants. Okay, here's our last one for today. Sn ape. Sn ape. Snake. Snake. Yep, we got that one. Snake, like the big giant snake in our book that the raccoon didn't want to climb on. That's disgusting. Yeah, I don't like the snake either. That's our game. You guys got all our words.